Hello. So, um, this is going to be a little bit different, uh, Whiskey Richard this week. Um, <clears throat> if I get a coffee or anything, I apologize. I'm getting over, um, probably the flu. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, any clearing of the throat or anything like that, I do apologize. I actually won't be imbibing much of this alcohol. Uh, I drank some of it last week, and the reason why this is going to be different is, um, I think... I was always wondering if this was ever going to happen to me, if it, if it was if it was going to happen at all. <clears throat> so, all companies have quality control tests for whatever product they they produce, and unless no one's perfect, um, and the chances of this happening is probably extremely slim. <clears throat> I bought um, just regular white label Jim Beam. Bourbon whiskey last weekend uh, as something just to drink. I didn't plan on reviewing this at all. I, I, I planned on like eventually re reviewing it, but I just wanted something to to drink because it was a heavy weekend. It was my death anniversary weekend, so <clears throat> I just wanted something classic, uh, American bourbon whiskey. And um, you can see I've tried drinking this much of it, but uh. This is not Jim Beam whiskey at all, especially not white label bourbon. It is, I guarantee you, I got a bad, um, a bad barrel <clears throat> and it was missed. Or I just got the, I got the, uh, not even the devil's cut of it or, um, anything like this is this has just got to be a bad barrel and i'm on the the shitty whiskey lottery um now granted i do this is this is old distillery it's a famous distillery they they barrel about half a million barrels a year so i'm sure they do have a pretty rigorous uh quality control but like i said there's human beings that work there um and we can't walk on water. So I just thrown that out there. Now, not to not to say that this isn't a fucking disappointment. Uh <clears throat> cuz it does suck. Like I even tried mixing it. Like just I go, "Okay, I can't drink this straight because of how it tastes." Now, I will be putting this in my mouth. I will not be drinking it. I'm going to be spitting it into uh into a bottle um just because one like I'm I'm still getting off the of flu, whatever the fuck I have. Um, <clears throat> I know I will absorb a little bit of the alcohol into my, and through my mouth, but it'll be better than actually swallowing everything. But, um, this is just like, even mixed, this tastes horrible. Um, and this is not representative of the company. Like Jim Beam <clears throat> is owned by Beam, uh, Suntory Inc., uh, which is somewhat uh, new, which is was bought by the Suntory Holdings, uh, Japanese distiller. Uh, somewhat s recently, the HQ is in Chicago. I guess it's moving to New York here by 2022. But uh, for anyone that doesn't know, I'm gonna name off some things. Like especially since you know we talk about whiskey here, uh, some you know things that would pique our interest so uh anyone not know they also make maker's mark you know that's another great american whiskey old granddad old crow bakers basil hayden's which i've been eyeing uh booker's knob creek um old overholt i've you know uh you know i've reviewed that <clears throat> kessler um which is a very low shelf whiskey it's like it's like two dollars for eight gallons of it. Uh, so there's like there's a bunch of other stuff. They also make like uh, Starbucks liqueurs, gins, uh, the cruising rum. So there's there's a whole bunch of shit that they make. So um, you know they have the fuck they're doing. <clears throat> it's just I always thought I would never run into this because like the chances are pretty fucking low like 
Like you smell it and it smells off. Like it just doesn't, like it almost smells like oily. Like, yeah, I can put my finger in it. Like, like, I don't even feel like alcohol. Like a liquid alcohol. Like, like there's a fucking oil to it. Like, it almost smells like oil. I don't know if you've ever got oil on your hand. Like a thinner oil. But. And it just, it's it almost just smells like charcoal. Like, like something didn't take. Or the barrel was, like, I, I don't know. Like, so I, I like the actual making of, of like, <clears throat> a barrel and how it effects. I'm not super um, knowledge about. <clears throat> Obviously, I know, like, some of it, but. I'm sorry once again, but it 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 seems like something didn't take, <clears throat> and uh, it just 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 tastes like alcohol, like or charcoal. That tastes like. Like, that literally tastes like I just licked a fucking... A charcoal briquette. Like, not... It's not like when you eat good barbecue. And you got some of that char on it from the... From whatever you're smoking it with. Like, not even that. Like, literally, you're just like, oh. Did they put the briquette on on my steak to cook it? Like, and then they broke it off. And used it as seasoning. Like, this is what that tastes like. Um, and, it, and it almost feels oily in, in your mouth. Like, so, like, <clears throat> I wanted to drink, like, a nice, um, you know, classic American bourbon. I'm like, and I happened to buy two. I bought, like, four roses that weekend, too. Um, just their regular bourbon. <clears throat> and I'm like, okay, maybe I'm sick. Um, and my tastes are just gone to shit. Nope. I cracked a bottle of Four Roses. I I drink that the next day. And I'm like, this tastes normal. This tastes good. So, uh, and then even this week, like I, like, I almost died of COVID Tuesday morning. I almost thought I had, uh, <clears throat> I lost most of my sense of taste and smell. I'm like, shit. So, uh, I felt better through the week. Uh, I bought a bottle of Makers just because I wanted one. Um, and I had a glass. Uh, could taste it. Tasted great. So, like, I literally won the shitty whiskey lottery. And I wonder how many people um, actually deal, like, that are just out in the wild end up finding these things. <laughs> like, I, I, I guarantee you I'm, I'm part of a very small group of people that have found this. Um, but yeah, it's like, I mean, you can't really tell, but, uh, I don't know. It, to me, like, it, it doesn't even like, it doesn't even seem like it moves correctly. So <clears throat> this was a weird one. Disappointing. I know Jim Beam can do better. Um, and the fact that I, like, I even mixed it. Um, and low for what I do on mixed drinks, I usually do about a finger, finger and a half for a mixed drink. And it just like, it overpowered the pop. Like I was putting cherry Pepsi over top of it, even with some ice cubes just to, to drown out this flavor. It wouldn't fucking do it. So disappointing Jim Beam. I know you can do better. And I know this is one of probably one in a million chances that happened. And I, I'm, I'm kind of, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of happy it happened because <clears throat> it was very interesting that it did happen. I feel like I should go play the lottery. But anyways, this is not a full tear down of Jim Beam. Uh, I just thought it was noteworthy and not so much in a review worthy because this is not indicative of their product. Uh, but this is review worthy as in what are the chances of this happening? So, um, pretty neat. Kind of sucks. Uh, I mean, thank God Jim Beam's not super expensive 
whiskey, so I, you know, I'll end up eventually finishing it when I feel better. But, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, do go out try Jim Beam. Hopefully, you don't get the experience I did. Um, but uh, Jim Beam does make good products. Their Devil's Cut is amazing. Um, you know, this is amazing. It's been a long time since I've ha- since I've had regular Jim Beam, but. You know, I happened to pick it up just on a whim, just because I, I don't know, wanted that that classic Jim Beam flavor I was used to, and I just didn't fucking get it, and it sucks. But, you know, say la vie. But, anyways, uh, if you've enjoyed anything I do, um, and you've made it this far, please hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Um, I also, uh, <clears throat> I stream on Twitch. Tuesdays and Thursdays are my hard uh, scheduled stream days, um, and those times vary. But usually, early afternoon is when I start. Um, as of you know, for this time frame of the year, um, now when I get into my heavy, real full time job season, um, it'll be later. But Tuesday, Thursdays are my definite stream days. Uh, those for focus more on my nerd video game shit. Um, and you know the other days are up in the air so if you go over there hit me a follow on there follow me on twitter and instagram that'd be great i appreciate it. it means a lot to me so hope you all have a good one bye